Hello, this is Rocky Mountain Edibles. I just found one of my very favorite plants. Hello, this is Rocky Mountain Edibles. I just found one of my very favorite plants. It's called Origenia linearfolia. It's in the parsley family or the EPACA family. Its common name is Great Basin Indian Potato. Anyway, this is such a diminutive plant. In fact, if ever there was a diminutive plant, it would be this one. It is unbelievably easy to miss, especially when it's not in bloom. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the plant and you're going to see how difficult it is to notice it amongst all the other grasses and plants. So here you can see the plant. As I mentioned, it's unbelievably small. You can see my finger for scale. This is in the parsley or APACA family. Normally this is a little bit easier to see when it's in bloom, but I'm a little late this year, so it's currently in the fruit stage. And you can see the little bundle of little fruits there and they do take the form of a compound umbel just like all the other parsley members as I'm looking around I'm seeing a few other plants of this species but they are so hard to see at this stage as I mentioned during the flowering part of the season they are quite a bit easier to see part of the reason is because the pedicel the flower stalk stands more erect and therefore is more noticeable. However, I suspect that during the fruit stage, the weight of the fruit is such that it causes the pedicel to droop down, and uh, many times you find it right along the ground. Due to the very small nature of the leaf structure, pedicel, and umbel, both in the flowering stage and in the fruit stage, this is a very difficult plant to spot. This plant actually grows from about 7,500 feet to 9,500 feet. And depending on the elevation and its exposure, it might be blooming anytime from March through June. You'll notice that this plant has two to three leaves and that the segments are one to four and a half centimeters long and about half to four millimeters wide. You'll notice that this is a ternate leaf, so that means it's divided into threes. So you can actually see with this. Let's see if I can separate that there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. You'll notice that there are three little leaflets and they are linear. This plant actually has what's called a globose root, which means a spherical root, and that's the thing that contains all the starches and most of the nutritional value. The root structure is kind of a spherical shape. Um, in this case, it looks almost like a turnip would look. Once the plant has already gone to fruit, it's very, very difficult to see the fruit. You have to actually look very closely because it blends in so well with the ground. And that's in part due to the fact that the fruit typically lies right along the ground. Um, so when I'm walking around looking for this plant in the fruit stage, it's actually always the leaves that I notice first. And I notice that ternate pattern to the leaves, and that helps me to be able to identify that. Many times I will actually take a closer look and make sure that there actually is a compound dumbbell with the fruits in the usual pattern. The uh, umbel itself during the flowering stage and during the fruit stage is longer than it is wide. So you can kind of get a feel for that there. You'll notice that uh, this uh, umbel is longer than it is wide. So you may be wondering why spend the time looking for this plant. And that's a very good question. Because honestly, the flowers, the leaf structure, are so minuscule that you would hardly get any nutritional value at all from those. It really actually comes down to this delicious starch filled root. You always want to take off the outer skin of these roots 
and this is just amazing delightful starchy goodness you can see some of the moisture between the skin and the root itself these are so delicious I can see why they call them Great Basin Indian potato because really the taste is reminiscent of potatoes so if you're looking for a delicious snack take a look at these you can actually see on this particular plant I've removed the skin and you can just see the white starchy goodness down below these are really great fried they're also really good raw um, I do want to point out though many times you do want to make sure to cook these because uh, that helps to free up some of the sugars and make them more digestible to the human digestive processes please remember anytime you're harvesting a plant that anytime you're digging up the roots you're killing the plant so you should always practice good harvesting ethic please make sure that you are not diminishing a specific plant colony too significantly I usually try to keep anything I harvest well below the 5% threshold uh, that way I don't at all interfere with the sustainability of that particular colony there are a few hundred of these plants around the area so I've collected a few more of these and I'm hoping to cook these up soon